Hello, I'm Kenneth Cruz, and I'm doing my book report on I Am A Seal Team 6 Warrior, Memoirs of an American Soldier. It tells the story of Howard Wasden and how he became known as one of the world's greatest snipers. Um, the book pages are 179 with background information, like letters, and after that. Uh, publication year, April 24th, 2012. The genre, a memoir, and the book begins, or I'm going to give you a little bit of background history and um, background information. Howard Wasden was uh, a poor child. His dad walked out, biological father walked out on him. He had an abusive father. And that didn't stop him from becoming a member of the legendary SEAL Team 6. And how he joined them in the Battle of Mogadishu, which was a very intense battle for him. He had to go and rescue um, two flights that were shot down by RPGs. And um, during that time, he had to go through a lot. He had um, some troubles there. It was very hard, very very crazy for him and he didn't think he was going to make it out of there alive but um, he does he makes it out and um, at the beginning of the book he talks about how he has to make this long shot and I'll leave you, uh, I'll leave you for that to figure out if he makes it or not but yeah that was his story on how he had to go to the battle of Mogadishu that's a little bit of uh, what the main story is about. It's just him wanting to be in SEAL Team 6. And now we're going to get into did I like it? Did I hate it? Was I lukewarm about it? Um, I liked it. I thought that it was a really good book. It was um, another SEAL Team 6 story that I very much enjoyed reading about. Because I've, uh, I've not really read it, but I've heard of them. This one I had to read, so I enjoyed it. It's really nice. Um, how does it compare to other books and stories? Um, it compares to The American Sniper, I think, and um, uh, Long Survivor. And long, uh, long Survivor, he had to go through that battle and... It was very difficult for him to get through it. He didn't know he was going to make it. And American Sniper tells about the story of Chris Kyle. So, how he was then, he had a rough battle in manga issue, and he was a sniper. So, I can compare it to those two stories. Name two quotes that stand out for me. Um, I compare it to the quotes, do the right thing, or... These quotes, do the right thing, even if it means dying like a dog, when no one is a, there to see you do it. And a few minutes passed as I continued scanning more than 800 yards away. A guy popped up with an RPG launcher, or on, on his shoulder, preparing a fire at the helicopters. If I took him out, it would be the longest killing shot of my career. If I fail, dot dot dot. The first quote, I see it as... That he's trying to say, do the right thing, like, uh, even in war, like, because this might happen, do the right thing, even though there might be a dire consequence to it. And the second quote, um, he, I kind of like, uh, compared to what, uh, Chris Kyle might be going, like, his thought processes, because, um, he was also a sniper, so. He might have had to make a couple long, a long shots too, so uh, Howard E. Wise didn't have to have that uh, mind, mindset when he had to make that shot. And now, uh, a passage that I have for people to read it. Uh, when the U.S. Navy SEAL sends their elite, they send the, or when the U.S. Navy sends their elite, they send the SEALs. And when they send the elite, they send SEAL Team 6, which is kind of like 
the army's Delta Force. Uh, I was a sniper for SEAL Team 6. This is my first, uh, this is the first time a SEAL Team 6 sniper story has been told, my story. Thank you. That has been my report on the book of Howard D. Wiseman. I am a SEAL Team 6 warrior, Memoirs of an American Soldier. Thank you.